Most entrepreneurs won't make it. Now, it's not because they're not smart enough. It's not because uh, they're not good enough. It's not because they're not funded enough. It's because they're stuck. And what I mean by that is that they're stuck working 50, 60 plus hours per week in the business. They're missing time with their families and, and their business is what controls them. So today, in episode number 250 of The Root of All Success, I'm your host, The Real Jason Duncan, and I'm going to be diving into a little bit about reflections on these past 250 episodes, but how I can help you get unstuck. Uh, I'm going to show you something called the XOS method. It's a method that I created through my experience of exiting businesses the right way and the wrong way. I've had major failures in that. I've had some great successes in it. The, the successes and the failures of watching my clients go through the same thing. And how you can use the XOS method yourself to unlock the business and the life that you actually want. Now, if talking about podcasts, you know, this is uh, this is my 250th podcast. It's pretty cool to think about it. I, I know that the first show I ever recorded um, was on December 23rd, 2020 at the Standard Club in downtown Nashville. It was in person. I was only doing a lot of uh, in-person shows for a long time. I still do those from time to time, but uh, not as many as I used to. Not as many as I like to. Quite frankly, I'd love to do all of mine in person. I feel like the in-person shows are always better. And if you're a frequent listener to the show, you probably may agree. As a matter of fact, why don't you leave me a comment? If you're watching this on YouTube, go down the comment section right now and just tell me whether you like the, the, the we don't do these on Zoom. We do them on Riverside. If you like the virtual recordings better or if you like the in-person recordings better. So appreciate you letting me know uh, on that. But, you know, 90% of podcasts don't make it past episode three. And this that's a real stat. 90% don't make it past the third episode. 50% don't get past episode number 20. And less than 1% make it to 250. So I'm a one percenter. <laughs> so this is episode 250. And, and what's the you know the little secret about recording episodes and, and recording shows like this is that I've already recorded the next five to 10 episodes. I'm just now getting around to doing 250. I wanted 250 to be a solo episode. So I'm just now getting around to doing that today. But I, so I'm going to make it to past, <laughs> past 250. Now, here's another stat that's real is that 72% of entrepreneurs struggle with mental health challenges. And uh, that, that's primarily around burnout. And many, many of them never find transition past the daily grind. But it doesn't have to be that way. Um, I, I'm going to show you in this show today, as I reflect on my last 250 episodes and I look at what's coming up in the next 250 episodes, I'm going to show you how you can get freedom through the XOS method, the Exeter operating system. And so in this show, I'm not just celebrating 250 episodes. I'm here to talk about what most entrepreneurs never get to. And that's that next level, how they get to owner investor status and how you can avoid the fate of most entrepreneurs who stay stuck in the daily grind. Now, I know that you probably know this, but I wrote a book um, several years ago called uh, Exit Without Exiting. Actually, it came out, it, I wrote it in 22 and it came out in early 23. Actually, it was released on my birthday in 2023. Um, now we're here at the end of, close to the end of 2024. The book needs a major rewrite. Uh, I'm going to be working on over the next 18 months, probably a new revision of this book to release it. But the book is called Exit Without Exiting. For those watching on YouTube, I just showed that on the screens, Exit Without Exiting. And it's an international best-selling book. I sold thousands of copies of that first day that it came out. And it's done pretty well. We sell copies all over the world. My staff mails them out. And then uh, some people order them on Amazon. But either way, we're very happy to have those books in circulation. I've got a call coming up just in, I think, next week with a, a potential client who read my book and reached out to me and said, hey, I read your book. I want you to help me. And that was the idea behind writing a book. But the Exit Without Exiting strategy has evolved significantly since I first wrote this book. Because if, and I'm not going to get into all the details, but my experience of doing this the first time, Exit Without Exiting, uh, I had a lot of failures. I had a lot of successes in it, but I had a lot of failures. Ultimately, uh, with the business uh, I'm having, I had ended up having to shut down a business because I didn't exit it the right way. 
And that hurt a lot. And that pain was significant. And I've been dealing with that for the past year or so. And I've been watching my clients who knew that information and how they were responding to this. And I wanted to make sure that they never, ever had to experience the same thing. So through my experiences and my failures and my successes, I've been able to refine the exit without exiting methodology, the, the, the framework around that, and to help my clients navigate through their processes a lot faster and more successfully. Now, I've seen clients go through this process where they are working half the amount of time that they used to work before. And that's really the point because a business shouldn't take up 40, 50, 60 hours a week. It shouldn't do that. That's a job. And you don't want to be a job owner. You want to be a business owner. You want to have a business that provides a lifestyle that you want, not a business that requires your lifestyle from you. And I, I want you to understand that as we go through this thing today, what I'm going to be talking about this XOS method is a refinement of exit without exiting, not a change. This, this, the structure of exit without exiting, the concept of delegation and, and, and investing in people and systemization and time management and sales, all of that is still as true as it was the first day I experienced it and the first day I wrote it. But the refinement is even better. I think about Apple computers like Macintosh, Apple computers. Um, I, I'm an, I'm a Mac guy. I use a Mac computer. I'm, I'm doing this show right now on a Mac computer. I've got a uh, Mac. I don't know what they call it. It's their desktop Mac. Um, I forget what they call it. Anyway, I use that. And I also have a Mac book that I carry with me when I, when I travel, I'm not an iOS guy, but I'm a Mac guy, but think about the first Macs that came out. I mean, when they first came out, their vision was to create something, a specific type of computer that was easily accessible. It was easy to use. It was user friendly. It was had a good interface. And that's what they created. That, that was so far back in, as in the, you know, 80s and 90s. I remember using computers, Mac computers when I was in school uh, in middle school and high school, because that's somehow Mac computers ended up being the computers that schools chose. But if we look at that computer versus the computers of today, the MacBook that, that I use in my backpack when I carry it with me or the Mac desktop that I'm using today, that it's very, very different and refined, but it's the same concept. It's about elegance and simplicity. It's about ease of use. It's about speed. Those are the things that we're always committed to. So the exit without exiting concept that I preach so, <laughs> so passionately, even though it has refined, it is the same vision. And that vision is this, is that you should build a business around your life, not your life around your business. And there is a huge difference between those two statements. I mean, how many entrepreneurs do you know who can't take time off, can't take vacations because they're married to the business? And that's actually a, probably a good analogy when it's more like they're chained and shackled to the business. You know, my, my first Ted talk was called the ironic prison of entrepreneurship. And I talked about exit without exiting. I, I actually, that talk came out before my book was released, but we are seeing an epidemic of entrepreneurs who are imprisoned by their businesses. And I don't want that to happen. So as I refine the exit without exiting methodology, and as I talk to guests on my show from time to time about that, you're going to see these revisions and they're getting better. So I want to briefly cover what the XOS method is, the Exeter operating system, because the Exeter operating system is like the new and improved version of what exit without exiting started as and now it's more of an operating system it's not just the theory or theoretical concepts or practices it's a specific methodology but it's based on a concept that i want you to understand called the evolution of entrepreneurship there are three tiers i believe of the evolution of entrepreneurship and i want you to see as you hear me explain these today in this podcast episode episode number 250 i want you to see if you can tell where you are I want you to imagine a triangle at the bottom of that triangle is tier one. And these are owner operators. And this is when you're doing all the work yourself. Most entrepreneurs are there. I would be safe to say that you're probably there. Then there's tier two. It's the center section of that, 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 uh, that triangle as you go closer to the top. 
That center section is tier two. That's the owner manager. This is a person who's got a team, but you're still deeply involved in operations. Very few entrepreneurs make it into that, but some do. And maybe that's you. But then the very tip top of that of that triangle, the very top, the smallest portion of that triangle is tier three entrepreneurship. And that's the owner investor. That's when you've built a team and you've built systems that run the business without you. That's when you become an investor in the business and not the manager and not the operator. So think about it. There's owner, operator, owner, manager, owner, investor. And the whole XOS methodology and exit without exiting is based on the premise that we want to take you from owner operator at tier one up to owner investor tier three as quickly as possible. That's why I run a mastermind called the Exeter Club. That's why I work with dozens and dozens of entrepreneurs all over the country, helping them go from tier one to tier three. Now in the XOS methodology, there are seven stages that we go through that help you move through those tiers. The first stage is that of basic delegation. That's, that's, you know, delegating tasks to reduce your workload. And then stage two is assembling your support squad. You've got to have people around you to handle operations. That'd be, first of all, an assistant. Then you might have a salesperson. You might have someone else to handle operations. But then the third stage is developing your A team. And your A team is your management team that you will entrust and empower to run the business when you step away, when you're not there for a day or two or a week or a month. This is the people, the A team. Those are the people that you're wanting really to rely on. That's a very, very important role for you. And that's stage three of the XOS method. And that's what I teach people how to do. As a matter of fact, we occasionally do A team training for my clients in the mastermind. So if you have an A team member on your team, you want to bring them into the training, you can bring them in and we do training for them. And primarily it's to let them know, hey, your your art your your boss, the entrepreneur, the owner of this company, he needs you to step up into this A team role so that he's free to pay attention to his job, which is setting the vision, communicating the vision and building the asset so that you can continue to help company grow the company that's better for everybody because if the boss is involved in every single activity, every single decision, everybody's going to be stuck. So that a team, that stage three of the XOS method is really important. Stage four is mastering systems and automations. And unfortunately, most business coaches out there are, are talking about systems and automation way too soon in the process, because if you haven't mastered delegation, you don't have a support squad and you don't have an a team, what good are systems and automation? Systems automation are still going to be reliant upon you if you don't have those things in place. So you've got to make sure that you've got those other things in the first three stages before you move to stage four, which is mastering systems and automations. Stage five is when you start seeing the fruit of your labor. This is when you begin creating what we call a passive profits machine. This is when you can generate passive income through a business. Passive income is not just about, <laughs> about real estate. Passive income is also about business ownership and you can make lots of passive income if you go through the XOS method and build your business the right way. This is, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about absentee ownership. That's what the XOS method helps you do. That's what exit without exiting is frankly all about. And then stage six is what we call exit without exiting. That's where we get to this absentee ownership, this, this retire in place, this owner investor status. This is where the business can thrive, not just survive, but thrive without you. And frankly, most people, if they ever reach exit without exiting stage six, they stay there for a long period of time because there's no sense in selling the business. Because if the business is providing lots of cash flow, why would you want to sell it? But when you get ready to sell it, that's where stage seven comes in. The final stage of the XOS method is called the ultimate sale. And that's when you sell your business at peak value and you continue profiting from that over the long term long-term without any daily involvement. That's the seven stages of the XOS method. And what's cool is that the refinement of this XOS method and what we've done with the Exeter Club is that in the Exeter Club now, we have certified coaches who are XOS certified coaches that are helping. I've got an investment banker. I've got an M&A attorney. I've got a financial coach. I've got a mindset coach. I mean, we're, we're bringing in some of the top people in the country 
who can help you get your business running and thriving without you in the center. How cool is that? Let's take a quick break to thank our amazing sponsors for making this podcast possible. As an entrepreneur running multiple businesses, effective communication is critical for me. I've tried all kinds of outreach tools over the years, but none have compared to Dub when it comes to driving real results, and that's D-U-B-B. I was one of Dub's first users, I think it was like seven years ago when they first launched, and I've been a loyal customer ever since. Dub has completely transformed my prospecting, my client communication strategy, and here's why. Dub makes it simple to record personal video messages and share them across email, SMS, social media, and more. And this brings back the face-to-face connection that's missing from most digital outreach. And what happens is my prospects instantly feel more engaged when they can put my face to my name. I end up building a stronger relationship faster by incorporating these videos, these video messaging into my workflow. Dub also provides tracking and analytics so I can see exactly who engages with my, with my videos and, and how they respond to them. Uh, their automation and their CRM features help me nurture leads and close more deals. I mean, that's, that's what we're trying to do, right, as entrepreneurs. So after year, using Dub for years, I, I absolutely can't recommend them enough. I mean, the Ruben, uh, those guys over there are phenomenal. I love Darius. They're all great guys. It's become an invaluable tool that I depend upon to run my businesses efficiently. And if you want to boost your outreach and see amazing results like I have, Head over to therealjasonduncan.com slash dub, that's D-U-B-B, and you can try it completely for free, no credit card required. You get the first 50, uh, you get 50% off your first two months, by the way, if you use my link. You need to take your prospecting to the next level with video messaging from Dub. They're my go-to sales communication platform for nearly seven years and counting. Go to therealjasonduncan.com slash dub try it for free no credit card required and you'll get 50 percent off your first two months as well owning a business means spending a lot of time thinking about money do you have enough cash to pay your vendors cover payroll keep anything for yourself what's the solution banking with relay to gain total cash flow clarity With up to 20 checking accounts, you can separate cash for every expense, payroll, taxes, owner's comp, and you can know exactly how much you have to spend. You can get banking built for small businesses. Sign up in 10 minutes at therealjasonduncan.com slash relay. That's therealjasonduncan.com slash relay. Relay is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by ThreadBank, member FDIC. Thanks for listening to our sponsors. Now, back to the show. Now, what does life look like when you get that done? Well, for everybody, it's a little different. You know, some people, when they get to that exit without exiting stage, they're going to spend a lot of time buying toys and playing golf and sailing, you know, whatever, going to the beach, buying the Lambo, whatever you want to do. And that's fine if that's what you want. You know, and I guess a lot of that depends on where you live, your family status, how old you are. But for many people, it's just about being able to step back into family life a little more. Because, I mean, let's face it, businesses steal a lot of our time from us. Businesses can can oftentimes become, um, like I said, a prison. And, and we st- we're, we're stuck and we don't know how to get out of that. So when you learn how to exit without exiting, maybe it's just stepping back into family life. Maybe it's getting more involved in your church and more involved in your community. For every person, when they reach that stage, stage six, exit without exiting, they're going to they're gonna experience life a little differently. But I could tell you a story. I had a client that I've worked with for the last couple of years, and he told me, he said, after working with me about six months, he said, listen, if I hadn't hired you, if I hadn't joined the Exeter Club, I would have quit already, and I'd be delivering pizzas. And I went to ask him, you know, tell me a little bit more about that. He said, look, man, I was working 60 plus hours a week. I have three young kids at home and a wife. And I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't being the dad I wanted to be, the husband I wanted to be. And it was too much. But going through the XOS method, going through the Exeter Club experience helped him finally realize that there's more to business ownership than just running the business. You know, we have a credo in the Exeter Club 
and uh and in the in that credo i'm gonna grab it i've got it on my desk right here there's there are eight tenets of that credo and, and if you're watching this on youtube this is what it looks like and maybe maybe my editor can put the credo on the on the screen maybe we'll have that have a pdf of that or a png where you can see it on the screen but one of the things it says here is that number six says we understand and acknowledge that business ownership isn't the goal Rather, it provides the financial resources to support our families and personal lives outside the business. And we'll remember to keep this perspective at all times. You know, what are you going to do when you finally exit? You're going to get to do what you wanted to do the whole time. That's have a business that pays you well, that allows you to live the life that you want to live. And this is what I talked about in my TED Talk. Um, you can go check that out. It's called The Ironic Prison of Entrepreneurship. We'll put a link to that in the description of the podcast where you can click on that and go watch the TED Talk. We'll, we'll probably even put it as one of the end suggested videos. You can go check that out later. But I have further refined that because I gave that talk in 2022, but I've further refined these concepts that you'll hear about in that TED Talk around this XOS methodology. Uh, like there are certain steps that you can go through to get you there to escape that prison, this, and, and, and do something we call, we call exit without exiting or strategic disentanglement, which is a cool, cool concept, right? And I've lived this journey, you know, my coaching company today, I, I've got uh, dozens of clients that I work with all over the country who are part of my mastermind. And I look at my active hours a week per week in my business. I'm, I'm able to do this entire business in less than 10 hours a week. And I'm trying to train my clients to be able to do the same thing. Now, do I only work 10 hours a week? Do I, what do I do with the other time? No, I'm still working, but I'm doing creative things. I'm building assets. I'm buying assets, investing in things. I'm, I'm investing in the life of my, my, my family's lives. This is what you get to do when you start running the business the right way. Imagine what it would be like if you could get your business to continue to run it profitably 10 hours a week. How cool would life be? What would you do with those other 30, 40, 50 hours a week that you are working now? Man, think about the cool stuff that you could do, the new divisions that you could open, the new products that you could invest in, the new real estate development that you could finally you know, get involved in. It's time for you to take action. You know, it, it, it starts small. What's one task that you can delegate this week to give to somebody else? That only, that'll free up your time because you can't go from 60 hours to 10 hours like you're turning off a faucet. It's not going to work. It's going to take a little bit of time. But with my help and with the help of those around me and my Exeter Club, we can get you there as quickly as 90 days or you're down to half as much time as you were working before. Massive transformation starts with small steps. And I, I would encourage you to think about this. Be consistent. Not just intense, because consistency outperforms intensity. It's not the intense force of the river that carves the canyon. It's the consistent pressure that, ca that carves out that canyon. So in your life, be consistent about what you're doing as a business owner. Be consistent about what you're doing to break free from the chains of, of what, it's, <laughs> what this business is doing for you and to you. Now, look, this is episode number 250. This has been a great ride and we've got many, many more amazing conversations to have with amazing entrepreneurs, athletes, stars, entertainers who've achieved levels of success that all of us can admire. But what's interesting about these 250 episodes is that the definitions of success are always different, yet they ring the same theme. And you know what that theme is? It's freedom. Every single one of the definitions of success on this show have been echoed some sort of freedom. And generally that freedom is around money, time, and energy. I want complete freedom over my time, energy, and my money so that I can do what I want with the time that God has given me every day. I want a complete freedom over my, over my money so that I don't ever have to ask money permission to do anything. And I want complete freedom over my energy so that my body is free to engage in whatever physical activity I want so that I can enjoy this life that he's given me. Because I do believe that God's given us an amazing gift in this life and he created us to enjoy this life. And so if you listen to all these episodes on the root of all success, you'll see that it's not just about getting money or getting in Forbes. It's about freedom. 
And isn't that what you want to? So look, if you're still grinding day in and day out, you're doing it wrong. You're, you're not just building a business. You're building a prison. Don't do that. The freedom that you dreamed of when you started your business is still available. It's still within reach, but you got to make a choice to disentangle yourself from the business. And the XOS method that I've created is one of the ways that you can do that. This episode, episode number 250, is about celebrating the freedom that I've discovered through entrepreneurship and that many dozens of other people that I've worked with have discovered as well. Success is the ability to live the life that you want to live on your terms. Freedom. Freedom over time, energy, and money. A business that, when you take a vacation, doesn't change. It continues to thrive. So what's your next move? What is your next move as an entrepreneur? You spent some time listening to the show. The show's running about 20, 25 minutes today. You spent some time listening to the show. Don't wait until it's too late to take back control of your life. I want to encourage you to reach out. There's going to be a link in the description for you to book a breakthrough call, a discovery call with me to talk about how we can help you get to that life that you really want. If that's something you're interested in, all you got to do is click the link in the description. But no matter what, I want to thank you for listening to sticking with me through 250 episodes on the route of all success. I'm excited about what's coming. We got some great guests that are coming up. Uh, had an interview recently with a very uh, successful author. Had an interview recently with a very famous and successful doctor. Had another interview with uh, with a guy that's done some <laughs> some crazy things in this world that you would never ever believe unless you listen to the show. So make sure that you tune in, subscribe, leave comments in the comment section on YouTube. We want to know what you think about the show, but please really consider where you're at in your business. Do you need to get free? Do you need to get unstuck? Book that call with me. It's free. You could do that. Or if you don't want to, that's fine. Just keep listening to the show. Well, as always, I am the real Jason Duncan. And Jesus is King. Thank you for listening to another edition of The Root of All Success with the real Jason Duncan. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, visit therootofallsuccess.com to access the show notes and other helpful resources. Follow Jason on social media at The Real Jason Duncan. See you again next time here on The Root of All Success.